Big increase in the number of sex crimes reported in the subway system, and a recent incident has riders on the lookout. CBS News General Burrell reports from Union Square. Most strap hangers reacting like Mike Harmon after seeing this photo of the latest accused subway flasher. That is really disgusting. Why would he do something like that? For an old man to be doing something as crazy as this, it's just, there's no reason why. And this picture snapped by a passenger after police say the man revealed himself in front of riders on a downtown Ford train as it approached Union Square the evening of June 12th. All these sexual incidents that are happening, people flashing themselves. It happens. It's a day to day thing, and you have to worry. Transit police say so far this year there have been 458 reports of in transit sex crimes, compared to 299 investigated during the same period last year. But police say it's not necessarily because there are more offenders, but more people are reporting the crimes. Our teams are catching more sex offenders in the act, and more women are coming forward knowing that we are committed to aggressively pursuing each criminal complaint. Police say what's also helped is that they have more officers not only inside of the stations, but also on board the trains as well. In Union Square Station, there is an underground transit police bureau, but some riders say they'd like to see more. You never know what people are thinking. Just have to have protection. Like, I want to get pepper spray. Yeah. Keep it in my bag. Because you just don't know. A lot of people are just sick and tired of it. That's all. You know, people want to ride the train in peace. They're hoping this clear image of the most recent suspect leads to his arrest and hopefully helps restore some sense of safety among riders. In Union Square, Janelle Burrell, CBS. Two news. Police say they have also deployed more undercover female officers on trains, helping to catch some of the suspects in the act.